so I'm walking in the English cemetery right now and it is so beautiful but it is quite literally flanked by oh it's all blown out it's flanked by like a traffic circle if you can believe it it's so interesting okay so I'm here in the English cemetery in Florence this is where Elizabeth Barrett Browning is buried and um, it's quite incredible here um, in part because it's surrounded by a traffic circle I had to I had to wait in the most at the most like pedestrian crosswalk that was the busiest pedestrian crosswalk that I've had to wait at so far in Florence which was kind of funny um, it's very busy it's, it's a little loud this time of day it's around I'd say it's around 3 45 4 p.m. right now so quit in time on a Tuesday the cemetery is just beautiful apparently it's only tended by one woman um, and it's only open five days out of the week for three hours each time so I happened to get here in the time that it was open I've, I've had some missed attempts so far but so this was great but it's really lovely here and I went and I stood in front of the grave of Elizabeth Barrett Browning and I asked for help <laughs> because I'm trying to write, trying to think of myself as a writer, um, trying to think of myself as more than just a friend to the poet, which is what a scholar often is, but to also think of myself as, as the poet as well. And I think that's a hard leap for the the academic to make uh, but I think of all the people in the world who might help me make it maybe Elizabeth Barrett Browning would be it she was writing beautiful incredible exemplary work in a time when women when, you, when they didn't think that women could and that is a value to me at least so interesting is that there's basically no one here except me and the groundskeeper I don't I don't think this is like a secret spot in Florence but right now it feels like a little oasis out of all of the kind of craziness right now so all day long DJ and I have been um, sort of tumbling into school groups uh, we were sitting on the steps of the Church of San Lorenzo and then all of a sudden these giant school groups came and sat all, all around us and so this is kind of nice there's not I don't see any other tourist here it's just me and it feels almost um, scandalous to just sit and and enjoy it and sit and be quiet and um, and just let this space work upon you because it can work upon you I think the juxtaposition of the traffic circle and this elevated island of memento mori is really interesting um, I wonder what Elizabeth Barrett Browning would think of this I think she would enjoy the irony. 